Hi. Uh, Rebecca, it's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet Congratulations you. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, your mission, if you choose to accept it, I do. is to pretend that no one has said that to you already. No one um, has. <laughs> have they not? No. Actually? No, of course okay. they have. Oh, you damn. believe me. Actually, God, we just lost your own you're, you're a really, You're a really good actor. Um, yeah, it's to tell people why they should go and see the brand new Mission Impossible film. It's great. Because it's a new Mission Impossible film and it is bloody good. I haven't seen it. Okay, is well, it, it good? Is Could good. you tell me? Is it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. Henry Cavill and Simon Pegg went to see it last night. I know, they told they me because Simon ran into my room at midnight uh, and was so excited. So I'm seeing it tonight. Okay, well, you're going to love it. Okay, good. I can't really sell it without, you know, seeing it. So. You're excellent in it. Some really good bits, so good work really? on those. Yeah, 100%. Okay, good. So I'm still in the movie. <laughs> You're still there. <laughs> yeah. They Why are they asking Rebecca to talk about this one? They cut her completely. Um, we put a call out to uh, the audience for, for questions. And, you know, we're going to be talking to the cast and the director. And we were inundated with your fans getting back, like Rebecca Ferguson News. Every, they're amazing they obviously really? love you a lot so and they don't one, think i'm the liverpoolian singer uh very possibly it was her picture and all the it avatars was. yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm going to take their question when's your new album out yeah well. <laughs> um but no they um they were wondering uh one person was wondering um in rogue nation you overcame vertigo for the opera scene or you were kind of you had vertigo yeah was there anything in particular that was scary about this one that you were like I'm going to do it. I'm going to get through this. No, there wasn't really. I think my was more when I sort of was in New Zealand looking at the little baby lambs. And then someone said, oh, look up there. And I turned and I saw Tom fall off the helicopter. And I wasn't prepared. Um, and it sounds incredible and insane and, and, you know, promote the stunt and blah, blah, blah. It was bloody terrifying. You just saw this body just go. And I thought, I guess I can take over the franchise now. A hundred percent. Bring one of the lambs in as well. That'd Little be nice baby lambs. People love animals. I know they do. Um, I was wondering, was there a particular moment in the films that you've worked on with Tom where you've just kind of thought to yourself, he's not a human being? And uh, like just one particular day on set or anything like that where it was like, okay, he's taking the mic now. <laughs> but the thing is, there is no one time. There is like, when is he not like that? But I think something that, um, how you can sort of, for me, when I laughed so much, I laughed by myself. We were in a car and we were going to shoot a couple of scenes that we didn't, we missed in New Zealand. So the back lot in... Because in, in, you were looking at the lambs. I was looking at the lambs and I was busy and he was hanging off a goddamn helicopter. It was just nuts. But we're going down a little hill and we were laughing and laughing and all of a sudden he goes into stunt mode. And he goes, right, if this car tips over, I want everyone to embrace their head positions and we're going to practice in one, two, three. And I looked at him and thought, we're going down a, a little <laughs> hill. And I realized, no, because anything can happen. It doesn't matter if he is doing that or this. So every car journey is an adventure with Tom Cruise. Literally, but he also grabbed me and pushed me down. So I ended up coming up looking like this, going, oh my God. What's going on? What the hell just happened? Having worked with both of them, Tom Cruise and Michael Fassbender. Oh, that's uh, okay. I was yeah. wondering who are the people? Who it was? Hugh Grant? No, 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 no. Ja Keep going. Hugh Not Jackman? No, 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 no. Fassbender. Fassbender. That's the one. There we go. Irish angle. Both but, Irish. Uh, who'd win the fight between those two? They're two sturdy. Thank lads. you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. It's <laughs> good. Um, well. In real life or character Yeah, let's go real life, yeah. Yeah? Not sort of what Michael Fassbender did in no, Shame. No, because he'd be, Tom Cruise would versus. crush him in that. Yeah, he'd crush him. <laughs> no, in Shame. Cocktail well, yeah. Shame. Pick two. Actually, that would be good. Just pick two characters and get them to fight. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, I'm promoting this one, so I'm going to have to say Tom. <laughs> Very diplomatic. And Thank last you. but not least, what should we do with people who insist on using their phones in the cinema? Do they still? Oh, 100%. I had this discussion with someone the other day because I go to cinema a lot and I sit, but I sit quite far forward in the middle and I've seen one once and I have no problems. I literally go, oi, phone. I'm, I'm very noisy. Um, I go, fucking hell, I don't know. I hate it. Yeah, just shout at them. I hate, no, but I hate it so much. And why are, the te why are they texting? I know, because people are monsters. If they were filming it, they're at least appreciating <laughs> it. I think that's illegal. I know it is. Fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't film the new film. Oh, cheers. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> cheers, Thank Rebecca. You. <laughs>
I find it best not to look. 